Hey, it's Chris. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start developing in Rails using SoundCloud's API. It's an excellent API. They give you access to pretty much everything, uploading tracks, updating your profile, listing followers, your favorites, uh, really anything you want to do. And since SoundCloud itself is a Rails app, it's going to be easy for you as a Rails developer to understand the methods and, of course, it's a RESTful API. But first things first, if you don't already have one, you're going to need a SoundCloud account. Um, go ahead and sign up by going to SoundCloud.com and clicking the Sign Up button. You can start with a free account. SoundCloud measures usage by tracking audio time, not file size. And with the free account, they hook you up with 120 minutes to start. Once you've signed up, you're good to go. Now, the first thing in using SoundCloud's API is authentication. Your app needs permission to access your information on SoundCloud servers. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this. At first, I started using the OmniAuth gem uh, by Michael Bly. I've used it on a few other projects. It's excellent, but I wouldn't recommend it here uh, for a couple of reasons. First, OmniAuth uses OAuth 1, and SoundCloud recommends using OAuth 2. Second, it doesn't provide your user with a nice pop-up or sign-up flow. And finally, the approach I'm gonna show you is dead simple right out of the box to get you up and running. It's actually quicker than using OmniAuth. So the very first step here is we want to go to GitHub and grab the Connect with SoundCloud Rails Demo repo. And you're going to find it right here. Connect with SoundCloud Rails Demo. And as you can see, it's a Rails 3 app. It's updated recently. And uh, we just want to go ahead and clone this and pull down this code. So as you can see, I created a little directory here, SoundCloud stuff directory. And we just want to clone it. So let me grab this real quick. Copy that. We just do git clone. And we pull down the code. All right, now that we have that, we want to change into that directory. And let's open this up in TextMate. All right. First off, you'll notice that since it's a Rails 3 app, you need to make sure that your gem file is up to date. I'm actually going to change this to MySQL because that's what I use in production as well as development. And then on your end, you're also going to want to make sure that your database is created and your database.yaml file, in the config folder of course, is updated. Once you've done that, we need to run an initial migration to create the users table. And that's going to be right here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and run this initial migration here. And create the users table. Once that's done, we are ready to get authentication going. Now, before you use authentication, you need to register your app with SoundCloud to let the SoundCloud API know about it. So what we need to do is head over to SoundCloud and go to, first of all, you got to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, you want to go to the u slash apps URL. And that's where your apps live here. And that's where you'll want to register your app. And to do that, all you do is click register a new application, give your application a name, and then click register. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the edit page. And I've already set one up here. So let's click on edit and see what we have. All right, you'll notice we have some information here, the title of your app. Uh, you've got a redirect, which is very important. You also have your keys, your client ID and your client secret. And this information we need to put into our app in order to authenticate. So let's go ahead and copy these right now. And incidentally, these are specific to your application. And what we do is we put it in the user model. And it's going to go right here. So let's replace the information that exists right now in there. And let's do it again on this. Save that. Let's take a look at this redirect URI here. This is simply the callback URL your app uses once you're logged in. In other words, once you're authenticated by SoundCloud, where do you go in your app? It's really important to get this right because if you don't, you're not going to be able to do anything else. You're going to error out. What you'll have is a URI mismatch error, and that means that this path is not correct. So. Out of the box in this particular app, this demo app, 
you need the following path for development. I'm assuming that you're using port 3000. If you're not, you need to change that. This is for development. Once you go into production with it, you're gonna replace this, obviously, with your domain, okay? So let's save that, I've already saved it, and fire up our browser and see if we can actually authenticate now. And let's see what we get here. All right, nice. Here's the connect with SoundCloud button. All you do is you put that in your app and you click that and it should bring you to a nice little authentication pop-up. Good deal, that looks right. Click connect and it will give your application authorization. Now you don't see it here, but it actually did authenticate as you can see the tokens in the background here. And now if you look in your routes.rb file, you'll notice that they set you up with a couple of different uh, routes here out of the box. Let's go to the slash u URL and see what we get here. Should pull some information. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it ac successfully accessed some of my tracks here. And um, I mean, everything's here. You can also update your profile. And this isn't, you know, this is a put right here. So everything looks like it's working correctly. So to summarize, the SoundCloud API is a lot of fun to hack around with. It's restful, it's built in Rails, so it's a perfect match if you're a Rails developer. And the authentication is really simple. I would highly suggest if you're doing an API mashup app using the SoundCloud API, I would highly suggest using this Connect with SoundCloud Rails demo is a starting point for your app. It's gonna make everything much, much easier. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, and I uh, appreciate you watching.